Hi, how are you doing? I, for one, am doing pretty fantastic. Today, we're gonna be trying to take the world's artsiest photo. So, I like to take photos of, you know, nature and stuff like that. I'm gonna be attempting to take the world's artsiest photo. You already said that. It's gonna be a nature photo. I hear thunder. I'm gonna be looking up artsy photos. Just as kind of like a jumping off point. So I'm gonna be looking up artsy photos. So what I'm gonna be doing for this video is screen recording me taking the photos and then doing a voiceover. These were the photos I got just to get an idea of what I should be doing. So I'm gonna use those photos as kind of a reference to see what is considered an, an artsy, artsy photo. photo. When I searched for how to make an artsy nature photo, it came up with using the sky to background, focusing on your subject, and creating depth. Let's get taken. I'll put a sound effect. Use the sky as your background. So I'm here with these bushes. They go all across here. So this one is using the sky as my background and kind of using depth. I'm going to get the picture right here. Here's a fun fact. I'm going to be using portrait mode for all these. I don't think anyone cares about that. So another reoccurring theme I kind of noticed was flowers. The flowers are kind of like kind of artsy. I found these flowers here and I'm going to pick some. Here's me trying to make the flower look like it was growing like that and not just me holding it up. I saw one photo that was of a tree looking up. So I'm gonna try that. So I got a few versions of this one, but don't worry. There'll be an elimination round later. Then I saw these flowers and I just took photos of them. So the sun just kind of went away and I just felt a raindrop. So I'm out of breath. Oh, I'm on my bike, by the way. Anyways, a little rain never hurt nobody. It's a small obstacle on the quest to find the world's, sorry, artsiest photo. <laughs> Okay, at this point, it's legit raining. But like I said, a little rain never hurt nobody. The reason I'm on my bike out here is because I'm going to the road by my house. Why did I just have, like, a southern accent? By my house. By my house. By my house. And I'm gonna take a photo in the middle of it. The rain's coming down a little bit harder. Here I am on the road. So I need to snap a photo and then go back because it's raining. That's probably illegal. Oh my gosh. A car just drove by. And I... <laughs> Let's hope that won't happen again. <laughs> so I took a photo facing both directions. Okay, I think the rain's coming down again. The rain is- oh my gosh, that is worst. Okay, yeah, it's really, like, it's legit raining. Okay. Those rain clouds are kind of artsy, though. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over this video because I don't know what I'm saying, but I did not screen record the- taking those photos. I don't know what the, like, the sky is doing today, but the rain just came to a complete stop. Like, not a drop. The last characteristic for an artsy photo is depth. I'm gonna look up depth. So what I found for creating depth is basically just focusing on the subject. Okay, pause. So basically what happened is I was screen recording me taking the photo, and then I kept screen recording when I filmed the video myself. So it's a screen recorded video of me taking a video, so there's no audio. So I'll be using Siri. Circle table. Um stop the foreground why is that so funny and i took this ugly photo okay that one was kind of a fail okay on to step two oh, oh, oh. be editing the photos to make them the best artsy photos that they can possibly be so i'm gonna be cropping them like changing some of the i don't know what they're called settings so i'm gonna do that now so this one was fine this one i turn up the colors a little bit this one was blurry, this one I cropped down, and then I turned up the colors. This one was a no, there's an ugly spot right there. This one, no. This one, I turned up the colors. This one, I brightened up, actually, and turned up the colors, too. This one had my finger in it. This one, it cropped a little bit. This one, I didn't change. This one was ugly. Okay, I'm gonna make a PowerPoint of all the photos so we can easily click through. I, I think, think you understand, understand what I'm saying. saying. So, so it's finally time to view the photos. So as you can see, I have this nice cover slide that says artsy photos on it. It's an artsy font, and also the first letters are lowercase, which is artsy in, in and, and of, of itself. itself. I don't know if it's this might be backwards on the video. It's not. 
This is the first photo. I like this photo. 1 to 10. This one is going to be a 9 for me. This one I had to stretch because I wanted it to fit the whole slide because I think that looks better. But I do like this one too. I'm going to give this one a 9 as well. This one is like a 1 out of 10 for me. That's all. That's literally all to say about that. It's just bad. This one. I like this one because this is unedited. This is like just the rain cloud. 8 out of 10. This one. This isn't a nature photo, but is it artsy? Yes. Perhaps. But is it nature? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. Um, so this one's gonna be a five for me. This one I really like a lot. I like how the flowers look. I like how the sky looks, especially. Nine out of ten. Okay, this one I like too. The trees looking up. I don't like the colors. This one's gonna be a seven out of ten. This one I like. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten. How did my eyes just do that? Seven out of ten. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the SmackDown. These are the final three. I give them all a 9 out of 10. I have to pick the world's artsiest photo. This is kind of a big deal. I think, um, which one of these photos is the world's artsiest? Actually, they're all, maybe all of them are bad. It, I'm just gonna say right now, none of these are the world's artsiest photo. But one of them is better than the others. And I've decided that the best photo is this one. This is the world's artsiest photo. I mean, this one's pretty, like, it's pretty good. My God, it's not bad. So yeah, I hope this video was inspiring. I hope you go out and take a photo today. Hey,